Welcome to Cabmaster. Today we're going to talk about how to chamfer or fillet a, a part, such as an end panel. First thing you need to do is go to Insert, and under the Set Length, length here, there's actually a pop-out. You click the down arrow, there's a pop-out here, and you can set some lengths, some quick lengths. So you can set some default things here. These can be used for anything such as walls or drawing lines or anything like that. But we'll come, come back to this a little bit later on, just so we understand, so one, two, three, these ones here are in these sizes here. So once they're set up to whatever your defaults want to be, you can place down a cabinet. Um, we can go into the cabinet breadcrumb bar. Then you can go into the end panel. So we're going to choose the end left. First thing we need to do is unlock it. So it's actually locked, so we're going to unlock this part, so now we can actually edit it. So what we want to do is we can right click here and go chamfer corner. Now we can drag it along here, it's fairly inaccurate. But if I press number one on my keyboard, it's going to snap at 50 by 50. Or if I press number two, it's now at 80 by 80. So I just click the mouse and it puts it at that size. The other option you can do, you can right click and go chamfer corner, but then if you press the full stop button, it comes up with this new page here. So I say, I want it to actually be, uh, well, this, do I want it to be the flat section through here or do I want actually want to come in from each side? So I can go, this one here is going to be 150 mil, which means 106 either side, or I can go, no, I'm going to come in 125 and hit apply and it automatically puts it to there as well. So there's a few things you can do on the keyboard to make things actually work correctly. Same thing with chamfering as well. So filleting, sorry. Exactly the same thing. So if you press a full stop on your keyboard, it pops up with your dimensions here and you can put in a few different things. So I want a radius of 125 and apply and it'll give me 125 mil radius. So that's how you can actually do editing of um, chamfering and filleting of, of corners. So the quick, um, what we call the quick measurements. Um, so they get set up at the very beginning. They're, once they're set up, they're there permanently, so you can just keep using them. Uh, makes it very easy to start, start doing things. So you go, yep, I want to do chamfer, or fill it on the corner, uh, press number three, and it's going to be at 125. Click the mouse, and it's got that at that right size now. So thank you very much for your time today.